Now, the U.S. ambassador to the United Nations is expected to announce a new round of economic sanctions against Russia. And that's, of course, for backing Syrian President Bashar al-Assad's alleged use of chemical weapons. Now, the measures follow U.S.-led airstrikes this weekend. And President Donald Trump's promise that al-Assad and his allies, namely Moscow, will pay the price for enabling the use of chemical weapons. Well, let's discuss this further. Ollie Barrett now joins us in Washington. Very welcome to the show, uh, Ollie. Now, we know U.S., uh, as we mentioned, U.S. Ambassador to the U.N., Nikki Haley, said they will announce sanctions uh, against Russia today. So what do we know so far? Yes, Nikki Haley uh, talking about sanctions with regards to uh, companies which are connected in some way to uh, Syria or the government or, or the uh, administration of Bashar al-Assad. She described it um, uh, as uh, potentially sanctions heading towards any sort of companies dealing, she said, with equipment related to Assad and chemical weapons use. So it's reported that the United States is considering uh, sanctions against around a dozen entities things uh, like banks and equipment suppliers um, uh, and that many of those uh, type of institutions uh, and outfits may be uh, next up when it comes to receiving uh, sanctions from the United States. The White House, though, slightly uh, less clear about the timing of all of this. Nikki Haley said that the uh, announcement would be made on Monday by the Treasury Secretary here in the United States, but the White House has since uh, only been prepared to describe the situation as uh, that it is considering fresh sanctions against Russia and that a decision will be made in the near future. If another round of sanctions is put in place against Russia, it will be the third that we've seen from the United States in four weeks. Mm. Well, Ali, give us a sense of how US, uh, the U.S. relationship with Russia has changed since, since this whole uh, saga with Syria uh, and certainly since uh, these sanctions, the first sanctions were put in place. Uh, and is Russia really feeling the effects of these sanctions? Certainly relations between uh, Russia and the United States, between Moscow and Washington, are at a, uh, a new low. They had not been in a particularly healthy position anyway, but there was certainly some hope uh, in the Trump White House that with a new U.S. president uh, in Washington that perhaps relations with Moscow might be able to improve. That has not been the case, uh, partly because of what is taking place in Syria, but also, of course, we saw that nerve agent attack in the U.K., which led to... Uh, sanctions being put in place and diplomats being expelled by the United States in uh, concert with uh, other Western allies around the world. So relations are at a very low point indeed between the United States and Russia. In terms of the impact that sanctions have been having so far, over recent years the Russian economy has been seeing anemic economic growth at best and that is partly to do with the sanctions that are in place against Moscow. It has led to uh, falling living standards for some uh, Russian people. It's led to, uh, it's contributed towards high levels of employment in the country and that's uh, why the Americans continue to use sanctions uh, as a weapon against Russia when they want to make uh, a point about uh, the country's behavior in Syria uh, and also about things like the incident that we saw in Salisbury in the United Kingdom with that nerve agent attack there.